how much do you value your skin or your knees or in this case your life that's what I think about when I try to justify a $400 pair of denim jeans in this case the Saint Unbreakable jeans let's talk about it I do want to start this off by saying the best gear is the gear that we can afford we all have different wants and needs and we all have different budgets but me personally everything changed for me in 2018 when I wrecked my bike and I was left with three broken fingers um, and a lot of road rash and it had me thinking on how I can better protect myself next time and right now in the market of motorcycles we have the luxury of having many options for gloves boots jackets and helmets and in this case jeans now these jeans I've been wearing them for a while and I actually haven't washed them yet but I'll explain that later but Saint they're a company based out of Australia they make multiple types of motorcycle gear and they also make workwear think of like construction right but they reached out to me back in March and said you know we have these pants do you want to try out a pair and of course I said yes I got the unbreakable slims and I was actually in the market for a pair of jeans and they got these to me right before I went on my trip to Arizona to test ride the new Indian Chief Saint engineers their gear to not compromise on protection for a certain look or an image of denim jeans but they do make sure that they feel comfortable like denim jeans it sounds like a marketing statement but it's true it has the safety standards to back up the claim that makes but if you want to read more into the safety standards that Saint does have, I'll leave a link down in the description to these so you can read more about them. And also they're dragging a guy down the road in their jeans to show their abrasion resistance and they're also hanging a guy off a helicopter with their denim jeans. At this point, I'm sure they're proving the point, but they're also flexing. And with these pants, you can expect a slide rating of about four seconds. So if you fall off your bike and you slide for one second or you just tumble off your bike, your pants are more than likely still good because they don't tear easily. But what makes these bundle of threads so special, and I'm actually wearing them right now, are several material, including cotton, nylon, elastine, and the mythical special material, Dyneema. So, Dyneema. That, my friends, is a high-density material that spins like cotton and is an ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene. That's a mouthful. It's used for bulletproof vests, anti-ballistic protection for police and military vehicles, apparel, it's light and it floats on water. Long story short, it gives these jeans strength and abrasion resistance, but allows them to feel like regular jeans. And I wanted to know more on how Saint found this material, so I asked one of the founders themselves. I guess, for the people that don't know, who are you? <laughs> yeah, cool. So I'm uh, Xavier Ungevich. I'm uh, one of the co-owners here along with Aidan Clark at Saint. Um, and we started the brand uh, together five years ago now, um, literally on the back of the question, why should what you put on the morning limit what you do with your day? Uh, we were sick of sort of riding around in our hot, heavy leathers that made, made you look like a stormtrooper uh, and wanted a real fashion solution um, that obviously protected as well. Um, we knew there were brands out there doing it, but um, at the same time, uh, we saw a big opportunity to come in and really have a fashion play uh, in the protected space. Um, so we partnered with BSM Dyneema up in Europe and um, co-developed the, the first single layer C rated denim on the planet um, and launched into the motorcycle space from there. When you, when you guys, uh, I guess, decided, you know, to make this clothing, did you already know about Dyneema? No, we didn't. We actually um, stumbled across it at a fabric show up in Italy. Um, so we, we had no idea. We, we actually didn't sort out to be a denim brand, to be honest. We, we sought out to create a, uh, a sort of fashion protective collection. You know, some of the first things we were looking at were these really cool armoured single layer vests. Um, so we never, we never sought out to be a denim brand, but that's where we landed um, on, with this partnership with DSM up in, up in uh, Norway. The, I guess the, the, the one series that I'm familiar with is the Unbreakable series right yeah. is that the only series that yeah. you guys have right now yeah so the the unbreakable um the unbreakable range is our pure moto range and that's uh <clears throat> that's our strongest sort of uh, 400 dollars price point slide down the road for four seconds c rated denim um and then we've obviously got another collection which is in the workwear space which we built off the back of tradies um tradesmen coming through our stores buying our $500 jeans and wearing them to work because they were so strong and they were sick of tearing their work pants. 
So we actually de-spec the motorcycle range to something uh, that's five times stronger than your traditional Levi's 501. So it's super, super tough, but at a lower price point. So it was accessible to that market of people. And we actually get a lot of riders that really want to be in the brand, but can't quite afford it by the workwear because it's still a tough riding solution. You know, like guys that ride in their Levi's or their normal jeans, uh, this is something that's five times stronger. So we've had a couple of people actually come off in that range and be fine. You know, the, the fabric hasn't torn at all. Uh, so we've got the wow. two categories. We've obviously got the workwear space and we've got the motorcycle space. The pure unbreakable is what we, you know, encourage riders into, obviously. Um, and that's the, you know, that's obviously what we, what we've invested very heavily in from, from the start. Right. So how do these pants feel? I live in the southeast of the United States, so it's hot and humid year round. And I ride in the winter as well, but sometimes I may be riding through the Mojave Desert in California, and I also may be higher up in the mountains near snow. But I'm 5 feet 10 inches with a 28 inch inseam, so I picked the 32-34 in the Unbreakable Slims, and they fit true to size. There's also Saint Jeans for women, although I am not able to test those out for you, but just letting you know, the options are there. And these are denim jeans, so they, they, they feel like denim jeans, except they have abrasion resistance, so if you're caught in that situation where you're sliding across the pavement, your skin should be okay. And there's two pockets on the front and two pockets on the back. The right pocket is standard with a coin pocket inside of it, and it's big enough to store my garage opener for quick access. I keep my iPhone 12 in one pocket and my Ridge wallet in the other, and the pockets are also deep enough so things don't just slide out while riding. And that's a worry for me with the cruisers since our knees are almost bent at 90 degree angles. Things in your pockets may slip out if the pockets are either too big or the opening isn't snug enough to hold what's inside. There's no issues here, and when off the bike, I slip my phone in my back pocket and it's also big enough to fit most phones. The pants also breathe well thanks to the single layer of Dyneema, and they aren't bulky, they have a slight stretchy feel to them from the elastine and the nylon, and they're also smooth to the touch and not rough, and they have enough length in the lower area for a tapered fit to cover my ankle of my boots. They Again, they, they they feel like jeans. What about armor? Saint uses Ghost D30 CE Level 1 armor for impact protection covering the knee and the hip area. It's known to be thin, lightweight, and it disperses heat, but my Saint jeans didn't come with that option, so I can't tell you how the armor feels, but it's available for those who do want armor. And hopefully you never have to use any of it, but that's why we invest in gear. Yeah, so that's um, a company called D30. They're based in Europe. Um, they make a really, really advanced, lightweight armor. The Ghost armor is their thinnest armor that they've ever made. And basically, the heart of the impact, that it, uh, the heart of the impact, the more it absorbs it, um, and it goes super hard. So the Ghost armor bends around your knee really well. You can hardly tell it's in there, but uh, the technology is that is such that uh, um, as soon as it hits impact, it will harden. And the harder the impact, the harder the armor will go. So it's a pretty phenomenal um a pretty phenomenal product but they've been doing that for years and and they're across all sorts of different military ap applications as well um I, I think the biggest challenge uh in the industry is obviously the changing um safety standards that's something that we always uh really keep a close eye on making sure that we meet the specific standards ce standards um from europe the us as well uh, the U.S. market doesn't seem to be as obsessed in terms of, oh, this has to be AAA rated or CE rated uh, as, as Europe is, but um, it's definitely something that we want to keep front of mind. Uh, and the biggest challenge is, okay, well, how do we meet those standards while maintaining a fashion look and feel for our customer, which is obviously quite a hard thing to do, and, and, and we spend a lot of time uh, working on that. I've had these jeans in the mountains of Arizona, riding through storms through Dallas, Texas, and also through the mountain ranges of Tennessee. And I haven't washed them yet. And something unique about St. Jeans is their indigo dye process and how every pair naturally wears in its own character and look. So my unwashed pair may not look like another as the Dyneema material bonds and matures while you ride. Okay, all this talk about Dyneema, how does it compare to something like Kevlar and why didn't Saint use Kevlar? 
Dyneema test show it being 15 times stronger than steel wire and with Kevlar being only five times stronger than steel wire based on a test of tensile strength and equal strength to weight ratio. Tensile strength being defined as the resistance of a material to break under tension. This means that Dyneema strands have more strength for the same amount of weight compared to steel wire or Kevlar strands of material. Dyneema is also hydrophobic and it doesn't absorb water. Kevlar isn't known to breathe well and tends to trap moisture, and that leads to your skin not being able to breathe efficiently and you overheating on hot summer days. And once you add in the dry heat of the summer, or in my case, humidity, that's a recipe for dehydration. Kevlar is also a lining in jeans, meaning you're only protected in those lined areas. Dyneema is woven throughout the jeans, so you're fully protected on every surface. And Dyneema is also a lighter material adding to the lightweight denim feel that you get while wearing these jeans. So again, $400. So the thing about these pants is that even though I'm out here getting wet, once I get back on the bike and I start riding again, I'm gonna dry off because the air is gonna flow through the pants. They breathe well, and that makes the overall ride with these pants more comfortable. So yes, you wanna be comfortable while you're riding. You also want gear that breathes so it can wick sweat away from you and prevent you from overheating. And of course you want gear to protect you in case something happens. That's why we wear gear, right? And in this case with these jeans, it protects me in case I slide. Hopefully not, but that's insurance. So again, $400 for a pair of Saint Unbreakable jeans. Obviously something lacking there is affordability for the masses. So my question for Saint was, is, is how do you justify that price or how do you convince someone that's in the market for a pair of motorcycle jeans? How do you convince them to spend $400 on your pair of jeans? And what it comes down to is treating your gear as an investment. So yeah, price point's always a challenge and we are looking at um, developing um, uh, cheaper options. We do have a cheap unbreakable jean in there in our collection at the moment, which is called the Unbreakable 6 jean. And that's a six second slide time fabric, uh, but it doesn't have the elastane in it. Uh, that enables the stretch that you've got, but it's I love still the stretch. Really tough, yeah, it's still a, <laughs> I love it's still it. a really tough gene that um, you know that's at a more affordable price point of two nine nine versus sort of three nine nine. Um, so we are looking, we are we are obviously looking at that, uh, and uh, it's something that is in the back of our minds. To, but we also sort of hold this premium position in in the market, and and uh, we, we we're quite proud of that. Well, I'll tell you this. I had an accident a few years ago where I fell off my bike. I didn't have a jacket on. I didn't have these jeans and had a lot of road rash, right? And the jeans that I had on were Levi's and they they ripped and the ER actually cut the jeans off of me. Yeah. They wouldn't, yeah, they wouldn't right. just take them off. So now that yeah. I have a pair of $400 jeans that I know will protect me, I have to be more, I guess, aggressive about not cutting my jeans. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I'll tell yeah. you a funny story. Do you know, do you know Mark Keller, the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride founder? Yeah, yeah. So he, uh, he came off in our jeans. He's a big fan of the brand. He came off in our jeans and broke his leg. And the medics turned up to cut the jeans off him because, uh, <clears throat> because his leg was broken, obviously. Right. And he was going, shit, these jeans are so strong, you won't be able to cut through them, you know? And so they cut through them because the, the paramedic scissors are I mean, um, and, and we drove, we've driven tons of tailors nuts trying, with people trying to t uh, take their jeans up because they've broken their scissors that, without warning them it's a tough fabric. Uh, but, I, but I digress. Um, so Mark sent us a photo of the jeans ripped in half saying he's just had an accident and the jeans are ripped in half. You know? <laughs> and so we were all shitting ourselves going, oh my God, what's happened? You know, we were going to send someone up to pick the jeans up and stuff. And then he goes, oh, just joking, I've broken my leg and the paramedics had to cut it off. So uh, yeah, oh, you, can cut, you can cut through it with really, really sharp, um, you know, industrial blades. But um, yeah, the, otherwise it's, it's a bit of a mission. I used to be on the fence about spending a lot of money on gear as I now decide based on opportunity costs. What is the cost of me not only buying these jeans but not having something like them if a situation occurs? Am I getting $300 to $350 more from these jeans versus a pair of $50 jeans? Or having jeans that are breathable and help flow air because sitting in a seat for hours on end, you're bound to get swamp ass. If you don't know what swamp ass is, just Google it. Am I compromising myself on being fatigued on the ride from potential muscle cramps and overheating? And what about weight? 
Gear can be heavy, and if you're crushing miles and getting on and off the bike constantly, you want free movement and less restrictions. All of this goes into my thought process when buying gear. This change in my mindset came from my accident in 2018. And after almost needing a skin graft from all the road rash that I had and having bandages ripped off my skin multiple times while I was in the healing process, I told myself that I never wanted to go through that experience again. So if it means me spending a little bit more money and gear to not experience that again, that's, that's simply a drop in the bucket. This is the original gear and clothing I had on during my accident. At the hospital, my pants were cut off to treat road rash on my legs and with this tank top on, there was no issue treating the road rash on my arms, my shoulder blades, and also my shoulder. And I learned a lot from this and I keep these as reminders on what can happen when I'm not fully protected. And I wanna say this again, that the best gear is the gear that we can afford. And we all know that motorcycles are amazing, but this obsession that we have can get expensive and I try to invest in gear where I can and also spending more on gear that I know that's going to age with me and also exceed the test when I need it most. And great protection, comfort, and looks all together comes at a cost. With this Dyneema material and added color dyeing process, you simply can't wash these jeans and put them in the dryer. That's actually the best way to ruin them. Excess heat from a dryer can cause the Dyneema material to shrink, reducing the strength, and excess washing can ruin the dye process of the jeans. But seriously though, Saint has a light wash recommendation or simply touching up the jeans with a washcloth, but refrain from anything involving a dryer. And that's why I haven't washed my jeans yet. One, to preserve the material and get the longevity out of it. And two, I guess I just like smelling my sweat. So my next question is the overall cost of an accident, not necessarily the bike, but you having to repair yourself and having to heal. Is road rash worth $400? Now, of course we can say the argument that many people have been riding with jeans for years and you just take the risk but it's always after a slide or a crash that we wish we had more gear. So again, road rash, is it worth $400? Saint, they summed this up perfectly in our conversation. How much is your skin worth? The biggest barrier to entry for an everyday rider is the cost, right? So how would you, not necessarily, I guess the founder of Saint, how would you pitch this to someone when you when you when they say hey what kind of jeans are those and you say oh these are saint and the first thing they're gonna ask is how much are they how would you try to convince that person to buy those jeans yeah it's always, it's always a challenge i mean uh, people will go oh shit that's way too expensive and you kind of go well what's your skin worth <laughs> at the end of the day i mean compared to a regular pair of uh, a regular pair of denims you know they're 200 times stronger and and uh you know i guess we try and sell the longevity story as well like those jeans that you have will last you for five years at least before they even start to wear and tear um so mm -hmm. the investment is actually a, a long-term one so there's a there's a lot of value for money and in, in, in that because of the because of how long they last like a, a traditional pair of jeans last years you know so ours ours last you know almost 10 times that um so we always try and sell that um premium story of these protect what's your skin worth and uh you know this is a this is a long-term investment you're not going to have to buy another pair of motorcycle pants probably for a decade overall what's the benefit confidence insurance comfort that doesn't compromise on protection and if that time comes you'll be ready but i will leave links down below to saint so you can check everything out in the description but thanks for watching as always. I hope you got something out of it. Even if you don't decide to go with Saint, just thinking about uh, protection and the risk that we take while riding motorcycles. So yeah, it's definitely a bigger conversation to be had. But again, as always, thanks for watching. Click that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.